guys, it's Hila here, Saturday Night Session. Thank you so much for tuning in to my sewing channel. Uh, today's post, I just really wanted to uh, talk through my process of how I plan on making the cover pattern here from uh, the Birdie 10 2020 issue. And the reason why I'm sharing it here on uh, YouTube step by step is because I noticed a certain problem was beginning to crop up. And that was basically that I was beginning to get pattern pressures. Now, the most common form of preciousness amongst seamstresses is when we become, that's a really good point. I've never thought of it like that before. And I am going to give it a go, sewing it up in the pencil skirt silhouette that it is meant to be. And maybe that was the reason why I was actually struggling to find a fabric because I wasn't thinking of making it in the pencil skirt. So I am actually going to sew it up exactly as is in the magazine and see how I get on with the pencil skirt uh, silhouette. So uh, in, I went shopping uh, for the fabric because I realized that I was getting a little bit precious about this pattern. And I went into the shop with a very strong idea that I was looking for tartan. They didn't have tartan in the shop, but I did walk away with Moroccan crepe in mustard navy and white and some great ideas. Thanks to Sarah, the owner of Fabrics for All. into the project uh, box. If you've done it correctly, you should have a straight line over here. Stitching line, folding line, stitching line, and folding line. And so that's what... Uh, but for the next sort of 10 minutes or so, I'm just going to unpick this pleat here. Things of a sleeve here. And oh... So those are the main building blocks. We're at the stage now where it's kind of a little bit like a Lego and we just have to put it together. Here we go. So that's been sewed on and oh my. So I'm using the crochet hook to move it. This is where uh, scraps of my woven interfacing come in handy. This one, I'd have using my little
Pusty. We did it, we did it, we got to the end, 20 whole uh, video posts, 20, I want to say episodes, but not quite episodes, but uh, 20 little bits and bobs of building up, we finally made it, made the cover dress on Bird Attend 2020, which I think is one of the best issues of Bird uh, over the last few years or so, and I can't tell you how happy I am and how very surprised I am. So I just wanted to share a few thoughts after um, afterwards because it kind of feels like this is the culmination of a big event for me. I don't normally do slow sewing. I'm not a big fan of uh, doing the whole slow sewing thing. So I'm, I've surprised myself in being able to actually <laughs> do this and finish it well over a year since I actually started on it. And to end up with a dress that I actually really like and that I feel quite comfortable wearing because that's the big, biggest thing that surprised me. Now, as many of you know, I had my colors done. Did I forget to mention that I had my colors done? <laughs> um, and I got my colors done sort of a halfway or three quarters of the way of doing this and basically found out that this color right here, that does not go well for my skin doesn't light me up but and so i did lose some interest um for a while in it and much like a new zealous convert to a new idea i was very initially very strict about i'm just only going to have my colors you know discounting the fact that it really counts mostly when it's right next to your face and so it did take me a while to eventually then calm down and have a bit more of a mature outlook on it and thank you so much to all of you who have had your colors done and you were sharing your advice with me that you know you can do bottoms in different colors but just as long as it's next to your face it took a while but eventually I began to see the wisdom of that and I carried on I picked up the project and I carried on with it and navy is one of my colors and I'm sure we can all agree that with the navy and the rouge lipstick <laughs> love it <laughs> love it um but yeah so that's where we're at the dress is very very comfortable the fit is nice and quite it's not very form fitting so if I were to take the belt off right so that's the belt as you can see I've still got, um, I've got quite a fair bit and this is a size 38. So it's quite, um, it, it is quite roomy. Uh, possibly if I'd gone down to a size 36 on the waist, but having remembered that the pattern piece for the back and the front were very epic pattern pieces with the chevron pleats, it isn't actually very easy to grade this particular pattern just at the waist. So I do have to point out there that once I realize the complexity of the pattern pieces, I don't think that it would be very, very easy to do the grading. Just wanted to point that out in post-production. Enjoy. On the shoulder, you can see that um, the shoulder for me possibly could have benefited from a half inch uh, broad shoulder adjustment. It, it, it's very minor. There's just a little bit, just a little bit of uh, pulling over here, but not enough to detract from the beauty of the dress itself. So I think that the sizing is pretty uh, spot on. And when it comes to the boutte, I feel like there was enough in the boutte area to fit the boutte. So sizing absolutely perfect i didn't have to make any adjustments which is pretty awesome and as i mentioned before i decided to skip the lining i decided not to do the lining and that was partially because i'd fallen out of love with the idea of making a mustard dress because of my colors and all that and i basically got the idea from it is josie to wear a slip um, and yes, yeah, slips have absolutely changed my dress game. I love wearing slips. I went to Marks and Spencer's and I got these really wonderful slips. Um, they come in packs of two. So I'm wearing the black one underneath and this is the nude one, but it is so super comfortable to wear and it basically covers up 
um, even like panty lines and things like that. And personally, for me, I don't like to show a panty line. I don't um, have a, a VPL. It's not my cup of tea. So I love, love wearing these and they're so comfortable and they just make a dress hang better. So that's what I'm wearing underneath um, for the, <laughs> especially for the bottom half of it. So the other thing is I found this hat. It's a vintage hat and it's hand sewn and everything. And I found it at a charity shop. And when I saw this, it was like, ha, oh, this is going to be perfect. Even though it's black, it would have been so much better if it was navy. But I felt like it worked really well with the concept of this dress. And this was the final ingredient that I needed to like fully realize the dress. Because over the years as I've been going to uh, charity shops, I've been trying to pick up stuff that go <laughs> with it. So the other thing that I found were uh, these shoes. So despite all of my extensive shoe collections, I didn't actually have any shoes that went well with this silhouette of style. So I'd been keeping an eye out and I found these Gabo shoes in a size five and a half. And they're just so adorable sling bag. I don't, I, I hadn't had um, shoes like this uh, before. And I just, I love them. They're so classic and wearing them with the tights that I'm wearing now. Um, yeah, so, so, so pretty and, and so cute and these were perfect and I was so lucky to get this for a pound and this one was also one pound um so yeah it does need a hat pin though because it's like a slanty edge one so I can't actually walk around with this <laughs> at the moment because it will easily fall out um and in fact when I was doing the photo shoots for the blog post we went outside with my husband to do the photo shoot um, it was just only a little bit windy, not too blustery, but just a gentle breeze and it felt like it would come off. So I need to get myself a, a hat pin so that I can, you know, keep it on there. Currently my hair, I've just pulled it back and I used um, a slight comb to just keep it there. And I feel like the style is in fitting with this dress. So those are some of the accessories. So in terms of um, the lip color, I use this uh, Givenchy. She, ugh, look at that. I'm trying some Givenchy. 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 It's a bit of a tongue twister for me when English is not your first language. Uh, and it's the Le Rouge lipstick. And it's really, this was a sample that came with um, the Linter D. Yes, because I got the Linter D perfume and it was a little sample that came with it. And it's really beautiful. It's a it's a cool red that fits in with my colors. And as you can see, it works really well. Uh, but what makes it work even better is using the lip liner. And I use this Color Me Beautiful lip liner in crimson and it just makes it so that's how I've achieved the lip look. So for the makeup, I decided that I wanted to focus on the lip um, rather than the eyes. So the eyes are very, very subtle, very minimal. I've got mascara on there and I just have like a, a, a very, a very steel gray, like a very light gray around my eyes. And then I just did my eyebrows and I went for these dark gray pearl earrings. I got these from Claire's Accessories, which is like an earring, an accessory shop here in England. I went shopping with my girls and so I picked these up. And yeah, and then the final thing is the perfume to go for it. So I love, I love, love, love perfumes. I fell in love with perfumes at the beginning of um, lockdown when that happened. And one of my favorite, all-time favorites is Samsara from Galan. And it is just such a beautiful and elegant and so grown up, mature, classy fragrance. So I don't wear this often simply because I feel like it's it really deserves a certain outfit. Like I don't wear this when I'm just wearing jeans and a t-shirt or anything like that. And the moment this dress was beginning to come together for me, it was very clear that this is a samsara perfume. And it just it feels really really beautiful and elegant and i love it so that's the perfume that's going um with that but overall i am so pleased with how this turned out should it have taken me over a year to do absolutely not could have taken <laughs> 
less long um, and probably if I wasn't recording it either, but it's fun. I enjoy recording. I enjoy creating content and I do appreciate you coming to watch the content. I know I don't say this enough, but I really, really do appreciate it. It's, it, it's a lot of fun uh, for me to do. And I appreciate that you guys are patient with uh, whenever I'm able to produce the content because I do that around my family. My family, they come first and all of this stuff is a one woman show that I do outside of the duties and responsibilities and the love and care that I give to my family first before I then do that. So I really, I feel incredibly privileged and lucky to have um, a community that is understanding and is very patient <laughs> with me. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for that. If you haven't already, do subscribe. Um, it's springtime. And springtime for me, my creative juices are really going and going. So there'll be a lot more stuff coming and turn on your notification bell so that you can become aware whenever I put stuff out. And so until I see you next time, lovely people, happy sewing. Take care now. Bye. So for going out, I've got an appointment. I'm just using this bag here that I got from Amazon and I've got these uh, vintage leather gloves that I like to wear for when I'm driving. I feel like they're very, very in keeping. And I'll wear this coat. It's still a little bit nippy here in England. That goes on. And I always make sure to have a brush. But that's, that's me ready to go out. And about and I'm very very surprised at how wearable this dress actually is and with my tights on this is, this is me it's so bright and sunny right now that I've had to bring out my 50 style sunglasses that I've had for several years and it just feels like they work so perfectly with this particular outfit. Sort of feels like all the stars are aligned um, for it. So uh, just thinking about whether I'm going to be making this pattern or not, I think I would love to make it in, um, in like a blue navy or a blue chambray or something like that. Oh, it sounds in my face. Okay, anyway, I've arrived at my destination now. I shall see you later. Bye.